Hey guys, today we're going to attempt to fix an issue on my Acer laptop uh, or netbook. You see this is Acer, <coughs> uh, it's a very small uh, netbook. Uh, the model number is either, uh, either <coughs> ZG5 or AOA150. This is basically the same thing, same model. Okay, so <coughs> what happens is if you open up this netbook, you try to press the power button, it doesn't power on at all. <coughs> because um, the battery is not being detected, it's not being charged. So if you put, put in the power adapter here, plug it in, AC adapter, and it shows the indi battery indicator here. And in a few seconds it's going to come on as red. So it has AC power. The problem is it's not charging the battery, so it doesn't matter how long you wait. You charge it for overnight, it's still not giving you the power. Once you unplug it, this whole system goes down. And you press the power button, it doesn't come on. It only comes on when you have the AC adapter con connected. So that means the battery is the battery is the connection is fine. Battery is connected to the system, but it's not being charged, it's been not being detected. So this problem uh, apparently is due to some system settings. Uh, in the BIOS. So basically what we need to do, first we turn it on, we need to fix the BIOS, which means flashing it to the latest version so that it will fix this problem. So what we need to do, if your laptop is still working, turn it on, and if you still have internet access, we can go to Acer.com to download the latest BIOS file. Uh, once we download it, we're going to flash this computer. If it's not working anymore somehow or no internet connection you need to download from another computer use USB drive to transfer the files to this computer okay so <coughs> fortunately our computer is still working perfectly we have internet connection Wi-Fi so we're gonna try to go to Acer.com and download it I'll show you if we go to Internet Explorer Uh, my Wi-Fi is not working apparently, but uh, what we're going to do, since some of you may not have it working, we're going to copy the file and install it on the hard drive here with the USB drive. Okay, so uh, we're back um, with the internet connection and also we copied the file. So let's, I'll show you the location of the file if you search it online. If we go to... Acer.com First time we're using this one, so So we just uh, reset this computer so some of the internet functions may not be working. So basically when you go to the uh, Acer.com you click support and uh, download drivers or firmware and search for your model number. In this case this Aspire one, model AOA150. If you type it in, it will bring up the page where it's uh, all the support downloads are and you just select BIOS and select download. But when you download it, it on your computer, it should save it on your whatever the drive you have on your computer. It should look like this. We get a Windows Explorer opened. All 
right now I have on, it on my removable drive so once it's downloaded the zip file I don't know if you can see it, it should look like this because BIOS underscore Acer underscore 3310 underscore A underscore AOA 110 and AOA 150 that's the name of the zip file that you downloaded from Acer support website um, once you extract that or, or copy the basically if you double click on that the Windows will try to uh, open it as a zip file and uh, and this is the folder same name and goes in there it shows a bunch of uh, files so it's, it's better to actually copy this uh, folder <coughs> copy it out and put it in a, a root folder of some on your drive so that you don't have to go through the zip when you try to install it Right, so if you go in there, so all these files is copied and it's in the directory. All you have to do is launch this file. Double click, launch this file. I N S Y D E flash. Okay, so double click on that, execute this file. So it will ask you, are you sure you want to flash BIOS? And just click OK. So basically, it, the system will erase the BIOS on your computer and try to write the new version onto it. We'll also show you the BIOS version. Currently, the BIOS version is 0 0.3305. A new version, apparently, on this file is. 0 0.0010 slightly newer BIOS but let's see if it works for your for this battery issue so Windows is now turning off it's going to reboot itself because the BIOS has now been changed Shutting down by itself and removing. Just wait until it's completely shut down, then unplug the USB drive if you have one. Because sometimes when you have a USB drive plugged in the computer and reboot rebooting, sometimes it has issues. So it's just my experience. It shouldn't have this issue, but my experience sometimes is causing an issue. So now it's time to see if the Windows is displaying the battery properly. Okay, we're back again. Uh, so, just now we did the BIOS update, and if we go to the right-hand corner, it still shows AC power, and there's no not recognizing the battery. Okay, so what we did wrong was nothing. What we need to do now is to reboot again. So, up, update the BIOS, the system reboot itself, came back online, still showing nothing. But if you reboot the computer. Once more, just basically go to start and shut down and restart. Um, it should work again. Uh, this battery should should be working. But if you just simply, uh, if not, just so simply 
reboot and press F11, go into the settings, um, load factory settings in the in the BIOS screen and save it, uh, save the settings and load the computer now. It should show, uh, as you see here, one percent remaining is charging if you can see here yeah. the battery is now charging and showing the battery indicator so I think most important thing right now to remember to, do, to resolve this issue first update the BIOS file flash it to the latest version as downloaded from Acer's website and secondly, let the system reboot and reboot again. Uh, best practice when you reboot, go into BIOS by pressing F11 uh, on the on the on the flash screen when you restart. Okay, go in there. Go into. Uh, let me show you actually. If you don't know what to do, that's probably a good idea to reboot and go into the, the BIOS just just to make sure first of all you have flashed your BIOS to the latest version and secondly to load a factory status and so that you will have the battery working again just by updating the BIOS it, the first time it may not work but after rebooting it should work So don't get frustrated when you update the BIOS and it's not working. Okay, let me show you. So this is the rebooting screen, and press uh, sorry F2. F2. It's not F2 in the, on this computer. F2 on the on the flash screen. Press F2. Go into the settings. You go to exit. Click load setup defaults and then press exit saving changes that's all you gotta do okay and press yes depending on your experience and you may not even have to go to the BIOS, but just simply reboot again, it'll work. First time it's probably not working. But if it's still not working, go into the BIOS, double check, load defaults. Okay? So I know this could be a frustrating experience, but follow these uh, things, trial and error, and it should work.